Welcome to Truth Discovery. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Beneath the Philippines' lush, vibrant landscapes lies a hidden treasure that could reshape the world's future, rare earth elements. These minerals, buried deep within the archipelago's mountains and valleys, have the potential to transform not just the nation, but the entire global economy. For decades, this immense potential remained largely unnoticed, overshadowed by the country's more traditional exports. But now, the secret is out, and the world's attention is turning toward the Philippines. As of August 2025, the Philippines is thrust into a fierce global contest, not for gold or oil, but for the minerals that power our modern lives and drive technological innovation. Rare earths are essential for everything from smartphones and computers to electric vehicles, wind turbines and advanced military technology. The Philippines may hold a mother load making it a key player in the supply chain of the future with China currently controlling the vast majority of the world's rare earth supply, Western nations are urgently seeking new, reliable partners. The Philippines is now in the spotlight with opportunities and challenges ahead. Suddenly the Philippines' 7,000 islands are at the center of a high-stakes geopolitical game, where alliances are shifting and new strategies are being formed. The choices made now will determine if this discovery lifts millions out of poverty, creates new jobs, and brings prosperity, or if it deepens old wounds and widens the gap between rich and poor. The world is watching closely as the Philippines steps onto the global stage, its every move scrutinized by investors, governments, and ordinary citizens alike. This is a pivotal moment, a rare chance to redefine the nation's role in the world and secure a brighter, more independent future for generations to come. The journey ahead is complex, filled with both promise and uncertainty. But for the Philippines, the opportunity to become a new global power player is finally within reach. What are rare earth elements and why do they matter so much? Despite their name, they're not truly rare, but finding and processing them is tough and expensive. There are 17 in total with names like neodymium and europium, and they're the vitamins of modern technology. They power your phone's screen, electric car motors, wind turbines, and even advanced military systems. These minerals are the invisible force behind our smarter, greener world. Control over rare earths is a matter of national security and for years China has dominated both mining and processing. A recent drop in Chinese exports sent shockwaves through global industries, exposing dangerous vulnerabilities. That's why the discovery of significant reserves in the Philippines is a game-changer. Nations are racing to build resilient supply chains with reliable partners. The Philippines now stands as a potential alternative, ready to help democratize access to these critical resources. The Philippines has always been rich in minerals, with its islands sitting atop some of the most geologically diverse and resource-laden terrain in Southeast Asia. For generations these resources have shaped local economies and livelihoods, from gold and copper to nickel and chromite. But the discovery of rare earth elements takes the country's potential to an entirely new level, opening doors to industries that are critical for the future. Only a fraction of the country's reserves have been explored, most of its mineral wealth remains hidden beneath dense forests and remote mountains, waiting to be uncovered. Historically the Philippines exported raw ore, sending unprocessed minerals overseas and missing out on the real profits that come from refining, processing and manufacturing finished products. Now, with confirmed deposits of rare earths, essential for everything from smartphones to electric vehicles, and other critical minerals like nickel and cobalt, which are vital for batteries and renewable energy storage, the Philippines could soon become a global powerhouse, supplying the world with materials that drive innovation and sustainability. These aren't just trace amounts, they're commercially viable, with the potential to fuel the green energy and tech revolutions, powering everything from wind turbines to smartphones and electric cars. This realization is forcing a dramatic rethinking of the nation's economic future, as leaders and investors recognize the opportunity to move up the value chain and create new industries at home. The Philippines is no longer just a supplier of raw materials, it's emerging as a strategic reserve for the world's most sought-after elements, with the power to influence global markets. This changes everything, elevating the country's role in the global supply chain and giving it a new voice in international trade and policy. The question now is, how the Philippines will manage and capitalize on this natural endowment, balancing economic growth, environmental protection, and the interests of its people. The world is watching closely, waiting for the Philippines' answer. 
and the decisions made today will shape the nation's future for generations to come. The global race for rare earths has sparked a new era of alliances and competition, reshaping the geopolitical landscape in ways few could have predicted just a decade ago. The US, eager to reduce dependence on China, is leading efforts to build secure supply chains with trusted partners. American policymakers are investing heavily in new infrastructure, forging international agreements, and encouraging domestic industries to innovate, all in a bid to ensure a steady flow of these critical minerals. The Philippines, with its vast and largely untapped mineral wealth, has suddenly become a highly coveted ally in this global contest. Its reserves are drawing attention from major economies eager to secure alternative sources. In July 2025, the US and the Philippines laid the groundwork for a historic partnership, offering investment, technology, and support for local processing. This agreement aims to help the Philippines move up the value chain, not just exporting raw materials but developing its own processing capabilities. But the Philippines isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. Its leaders are keenly aware of the risks of over-reliance on any single partner and are actively seeking to diversify their alliances. It's negotiating critical minerals agreements with Japan, tapping into Japanese expertise in technology and sustainable mining practices. Free trade deals with Canada are opening new markets and bringing in fresh investment, further strengthening the Philippines' position. And strategic pacts with South Korea are fostering joint ventures and technology transfers, ensuring the Philippines remains at the forefront of regional cooperation. This web of alliances marks a clear pivot from the old model of exporting raw ore to China. Instead, the Philippines is now shaping new trade routes and building a network of mutually beneficial relationships. The government now sees its mineral wealth as a diplomatic tool, not just a commodity. By leveraging these resources it's gaining influence on the world stage. By diversifying partnerships the Philippines is strengthening its geopolitical standing and economic prospects, positioning itself as a key player in the global supply chain for years to come. Navigating this competition is delicate, requiring careful diplomacy and strategic vision, but the rewards could be transformative, ushering in a new era of prosperity and influence for the Philippines. The Philippine government is finally waking up to its mineral potential. The old model of exporting raw ore is being replaced by a push for local processing and value-added industries. New policies aim to keep more of the economic benefits at home, creating jobs, building skills, and boosting exports. International partnerships are key, the U.S. Geological Survey is helping map reserves, while investors eye new processing plants. Reliable data and a clear strategy are attracting major players to fund these projects. Business leaders are calling for a unified national roadmap to secure the country's place in the global supply chain. The momentum is building for bold, strategic policymaking. The Philippines is moving beyond its historical role as a raw material supplier. The giant is finally awakening. The promise of a rare earth boom is real, but so are the challenges. Decades of policy neglect have left the Philippines without a clear strategy for critical minerals. The country hasn't even defined its own list of strategic minerals, a basic step for attracting investment. Infrastructure is lacking, processing plants, reliable power and skilled workers are all in short supply. The nation must also guard against foreign espionage and interference, as rare earths become a target for global intelligence. Corruption and weak governance have plagued the mining sector for years. To succeed, the Philippines must enforce transparency, fair regulations, and responsible management of revenues. Building a modern minerals industry will be as tough as extracting the minerals themselves, but overcoming these obstacles is essential for lasting prosperity. Mining rare earths brings both opportunity and risk, especially for the environment. Extraction and processing can scar landscapes and pollute water, threatening the Philippines' rich biodiversity. Lessons from China show the dangers of poorly regulated mining, toxic waste, ruined land, and devastated communities. The Philippines must adopt world-class environmental standards and strictly enforce them. Only responsible operators should be allowed to do business. Local communities must be genuine partners, sharing in the benefits and having a real say in development. Equitable benefit sharing and reinvestment in local infrastructure are crucial. Sustainable success depends on balancing economic progress with environmental protection. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can get it right. As the mineral revolution begins, experts warn that success is not guaranteed. Industry leaders urge the government to act fast and provide a clear, stable policy direction. 
Without a strategic roadmap, the Philippines risks remaining a supplier of cheap raw materials. Watchdogs and analysts stress the need for transparency and strong environmental safeguards to avoid the resource curse. Legal frameworks must be strengthened before big investments arrive. Environmental scientists and community advocates call for independent impact assessments and local empowerment. True wealth is measured not just in exports, but in healthy ecosystems and thriving communities. The consensus, the opportunity is golden, but it must be pursued with wisdom and equity. The responsibility to get it right rests with the Philippines. The Philippines' rare earth riches are a call to action, a chance to transform the nation's destiny. The path forward is challenging but the rewards are immense, prosperity, innovation, and strategic independence. The first step is clear craft and implement a comprehensive national critical mineral strategy. This strategy must define priorities, set world-class standards, and build domestic processing capacity. It should be developed with input from industry, experts, environmentalists, and communities. Investing in education and training will create a pipeline of skilled Filipino talent. Transparent revenue sharing will ensure local communities benefit directly. The nation stands at a crossroads, remain a low-value exporter, or become a global leader in critical minerals. By uniting behind a bold strategy and demanding the highest standards, the Philippines can seize this moment. The time to act is now. Let's build a golden future for all Filipinos.